Good Ooh, evening, ladies and gentlemen. Team. Welcome to the NA Dota Elite League. My name is Mont. We've got a bunch of games for you tonight. It is, of course, Saturday evening. It is September the 14th. Uh, great Dota day. Team. Great day for some Dota, specifically for some American Dota. And we've got a couple games on tap for you. But I want to remind everybody that tonight we are going to be giving away at least Radiant two tickets, uh, depending on whether or not I receive any from my donators. Shout out to Dropout Dota for handing me over a couple of tickets the other day. But uh, I, get, I still got two in stock right now to give out, and I'm going to do that after each game, uh, the first two games I should say, depending on what goes on. And of course I'll be using the Twitch randomizer app to do that, and I'll stream it so you people can't call me rigged, you bastards. I have an echo. That's weird. Are you sure? Is that just me? Is that just you? I don't think I have an echo. That'd be very weird if I had a if I had an echo. I don't think that's the case though. But uh, go ahead and give me any information depending on what's going on in game, what's going on in stream. So if you ever have any problems, just be like, "Oh my God, Mott, this is happening! Somebody help! I need an adult!" And then I'll be like, "All right, just relax. I'll fix it." Or I might be like, I can't fix it, so I guess you're fucked. But that's not going to be the case half the time. With that being said, it is the first game of the night here. It is 8 o'clock Eastern, which is going to be uh, the beginning game here. Game number one, if you will, on our Saturday night action. And uh, we're looking to have some fun tonight. Now, John's not with me. Um, I'm alone, as it were. So we have Snake King, Mojo Storm, Sat, Warden, Bulba, TC on the die. Radiant is Mason, Universe, Fear, Infinity, and Arteezy. We're kind of seeing a similar, uh, I guess, just a lot of similar players throughout the games. If you think about it, last night we had Bulba, and I think all of the games, and MSS was in a couple, Mason was in a couple, Arteezy was in a couple. So there's a lot of people that play many consistent games. Uh, I am going to try to... Spice it up, I guess, a little bit, and uh, start casting random games with random people, and they're not going to know it's coming, so, like, the lobby will be up, and they'll join, and they'll be like, oh, I, someone already made the lobby, and they'll be like, Ten seconds, it's a ticketed remaining. game, bitch, and then they'll be like, wait, what? No, I don't, that's Five not what I signed up for, remaining. and then they will pr proceed to feed, and it will be fun. Reserve that's not, time. that's not what happens, though. This yeah. is the NEL, they're professional, they play really well, uh, on most occasions, so... Pick. With the Radiant, we see Outworld of Our Visage and Naga Sauron. I like to call this the tryhard three core. Just because these three heroes alone can pretty much win you the game. You don't even need to have a hard carry. Outworld Devour can carry pretty well into the mid game, and even into the late game to a certain extent. So you really don't need anybody that just does a ton of damage late game because you're probably going to win the early to mid game. You've got Visage with Soul Assumption, which, Ten I mean, Visage is a good hero. I think the familiars really make him. A lot of people... Maybe don't think he's as broken as Five I do. Uh, but that's probably because most people are smarter than I am. I don't know. Naga Siren has Riptide, which is really good, really spammable now with the Reserve change it's got. Time. Of course, the armor is really great, the armor reduction. The damage is great. The uh, cooldown, 10 seconds, really great. Song of the Siren, etc., etc. She can also be used to do a lot of damage. I mean, she's one of the heroes that functions really well in a support or semi carry or even a hard carry role. Just because she used to be a hard carry, her nerf to her base damage is significant, but not, you know, insurmountable. And I've seen Naga Sirens get a ridiculous amount of farm and carry games with, of course, Mirror Image. Uh, they'll get a Diffusal Blade, they'll get Treads, they'll absolutely go to town on Heroes. And it sucks. It sucks to play against the Naga Siren. Uh, with the other team, we see the Batrider and the Lone Druid, so there's a lot of lockdown there just between the Entangling Claws and the Lasso, which we saw a bit of Entangling Claws last night from RTZ. We got some nice little RNG, and Bulba, of course, was frustrated by that. And then even, they're going to counter it up, of course, with Bane with the Fiend's Grip as well, so they've got even more lockdown. So they can just slam on Weaver. people. And then the Weaver is going to be going for the Dire Radiant. Team. I've seen Universe play Weaver. I've seen Mason play Weaver. I've seen Arteezy play Weaver. I've seen Infinity play Weaver. Everyone on this team has played Weaver. So really, who goes what role, I think, is going to be entirely dependent on how they're feeling tonight. How are they feeling tonight? Well, they're not feeling very talkative. This game is not featuring a whole lot of all chat, which is whatever. I'm sure I'll bait them into something throughout the game. Yell at them, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, it's 8 o'clock at night, football's tomorrow afternoon, Five seconds I'm looking forward remaining. to that, and then after the Bills lose, I'm probably going to be really depressed, I'll cast again, and yeah. I'll probably be even more depressed, um, and then I have to, of bad. course, do work for school, go to class on Monday, oh, God, it's a rough life, man, it's a rough life watching Dota 2. 
Not really. We'll see the Marana come out from the Dire here. I think that's good because they've got the Bane set up. The Bane Marana lane is pretty freaking awesome. It's a legitimate lane, and it works really well. If you're ever feeling like you want to just stomp some pubs, assuming you're not like in the very highest of matchmaking, go ahead and pick up Bane Marana as a lane with one of your friends. Or even with a random person, as long as they speak English and don't feed. Just have the person nightmare them. Throw up the arrow from a decent distance. Do some damage, get kills, GGWP. You can do that in an aggressive lane, you can do that in a non-aggressive lane. And in terms of like safe lane, aggressive lane, it works pretty well. It's a good combo. Slark's coming out from the Radiant, and Mason really loves his Slark, so I'm not surprised that he picked it. This is the all teal blue team, which uh, John and I were talking about last game. This is... Valve really need to go with some different color palettes. It's a good thing they've got the Lone Druid with green and Bat Rider with red, but this is... This is unacceptable. I think we're going to make all of our really good heroes blue and teal. That sounds like a good idea to me. Ten seconds Excellent. Remaining. So, one more pick to go. And considering what remaining. they've got right now, I imagine it's going to be either a carry or support. Something to lane with the Marana and the Bane. Time. Uh, it depends on if they want to get farm with the Marana. I don't think they will, just because their base damage is so low. Um, I think they'll grab somebody that can deal some decent damage, but also not need to be super effective in that lane. Because already you've got Arrow, which does a decent amount of damage. Has a very long duration stun, depending on certain things. And then you have Bane, who can deal some damage with the Brain Sap as well. They'll need someone who can deal a little bit more damage to, of course, secure that kill on whoever it is up in that lane, or whoever they're facing in a tri-lane versus tri-lane. Uh, could be a Weaver, potentially. Could be an aggressive tri-lane with the Visage, Naga Siren Weaver... I think Slark's going to be off lane or solo safe lane or something like that. Our OD should be mid uh, up against the Batrider. Batrider will have a kind of a tough time. Actually, it should be a relatively even matchup because Sticky Ma Napalm is a pretty, you know, man effective way to spam and get damage going. It's only 20 mana, as you can see, for all of the remaining. levels. And even if you're throwing up the Astral Imprisonment, I mean, his base mana Five is kind of high because he's an Intelligence Hero, so it's not like that should be too difficult. It, it's pretty mean. even, actually. And that's just because Bat Rider is pretty good. But they're going to go for the Crystal Man, so that's the support, and that's even more damage to come out. Crystal Man's a good support. We saw it in TI3. We saw Crystal Man kind of making a comeback throughout the year, whereas last year everyone was like, that hero is garbage. If you pick that hero, you're a scrub. Repick. Which is kind of how most heroes' life cycles go. It's the same with any other hero on the board right now. Weaver? No one played that. Who played Weaver? Are you serious? All right, here we go. Jumping into the game. First game of the night for the NEL. My name is Malt. We've got the Dire with TC on the Marana. That is some sweet hair. I like that hair. And the cleavage as well. That's excellent. Too bad I can't rotate my camera. So TC's going to be on the Marana. MSS is going to be on the Lone Druid. Warden's going to be on the Crystal Maiden. We'll see Snaking on the Bat Rider. And Bubble's going to be on the Bane, surprisingly enough. He's not going to be playing a hero that does well with farm. He's going to be playing a hero that pretty much doesn't need farm. Obviously, some farm would be nice on a Bane. Get yourself those arcane boots. Oh, I guess wards. A wand would be nice. On the Radiant, we'll have Arteezy on the Outworld Devourer. Universe is going to go top solo, off lane. Or maybe it's an aggressive try lane as Fear's thinking about making his way up there. Fear's going to be on the Naga Siren. Infinity will be on the Visage. And to round it all out, we'll see Mason on the Slark. So Slark is going to be solo safe lane. Um, which I think I said something about earlier on. I guess I'm kind of right. Score one point for me. Yes. Hashtag I'm winning. And right now, Warden is sitting mid. I think he was thinking about throwing a... Well, he already threw this ward up here, and he'll probably throw a ward here. Since they're not doing an aggressive lane, there's no need to, you know, give him a ward for snaking. Snaking can contest the pull, and it's not like they're going to be pulling anyways. They know that this is going to be tri-lane versus tri-lane. They know this is an aggressive tri-lane with fear with the universe and infinity. The problem is, who really does the most damage here? You get a lot of sacks of soul assumption if you're taking damage, of course, which could be used pretty effectively to kills, to get kills, excuse me. But you have, at the same time, Crystal Man who does a decent amount of damage. You've got Bane who does a decent amount of damage. You've got the Marana who can deal a decent amount of damage with that arrow. So, I mean, it all depends on how the Radiant, or excuse me, the Dire want to play this in terms of aggressiveness, in terms of, I guess, who strikes first. Bulba's had this very relaxed state for about a couple of days now. I'm not sure what's up with him. He's a changed man, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, tweet at Liquid Bulba. Throw question marks at him. See what's really up. 
find out the true story behind Bulba, because I certainly don't know. In the mid lane right now, it's going to be MSS and the Lone Druid, and uh, this is an okay matchup, I think. I mean, even if MSS gets... I mean, this is a pretty good matchup for MSS, honestly. It's one of the two matchups that he'll be able to do okay in, uh, because he's got that bear, and it's not like... I mean, he's going to... Him getting Nationals is not going to be super detrimental to his farm because of that bear. Uh, but he can also do some decent harass as well against Arteezy. So, I think it's a pretty good matchup. Arteezy should still have a decent uh, decent time here, especially when he gets his Null Talisman. gives him more damage as well. There's going to be the Astral Imprisonment early on, and uh, that'll be coming fast and furious. It is an Outworld Devourer, so it's not super surprising that's happening. We will see TC in the top lane. He's leading the way with three last hits. Universe is close at two. Still early on here. Uh, there's actually a nice little Radiant pull going, and this is exactly why you do a Radiant Aggressive try lane because you have this camp to pull into the lane in multiple different directions. So... Already we can see Fear getting some experience that they necessarily shouldn't get. Uh, nice little last hit going for Fear as well with that Riptide, realizing that TC probably has better animation and more damage as well. Fear sitting on 47 damage for Naga Siren, and that's really what made her kind of fall off in terms of the carry roll. Universe is going to be doing well. Seven last hits down to the bottom lane already going for Snaking, so Snaking isn't going to be bat against, of course, the OD, and I think that's a better matchup with the Lone Druid, assuming uh, MSS can avoid some Astrals when necessary, and of course get last hits as effectively as possible. As soon as he gets uh, the Entangling Claws up, it might be even more dangerous for Arteezy to be in this lane. Similarly, as soon as Arteezy gets six and the Sanity's Eclipse, well, that's also a problem. Mason has pounce, he's got two points into it, he's got one point in a dark pack, so already he can jump on snaking, but at the same time, snaking can be aggressive, and you can see he's got three sacks of Mason right now. Nice pounce to avoid that one right click damage, but uh, that will waste some mana, you can see he's already at half mana at this point. Sentry Ward's up for the Dire here, just in case they uh, want to go on Universe, and it's like if he tries to Shikuchi away. Uh, Fear is going to take some right click damage, so everything is hunky dory at this point. No real slams happening, no first blood, but I'll keep my eye on the minimap. Someone was asking me how you are so effective when you're casting and just seeing where the action is. Honestly, it's all about watching the minimap. You can use these bars up here in the top left or top right, but I honestly don't think that's really super useful. Uh, if I'm missing something, I'll check there, but I think it's more effective to just see what's happening. Like if you see somebody disappearing off the minimap or if they're like underneath another person on the minimap, you probably know action's going down. You can see Mason was a little bit away on the minimap, so he's not you know, really getting too much damage taken there. Meanwhile, these guys are kind of close top. Ward's gonna get Grave Chilled. Fear looking for an ensnare. It's gonna go. Warren's gonna be in some trouble potentially. Riptide might fly. Warren might go down here. Soul Assumption, first blood. Easy goes for infinity there. That's an easy first blood for him right now. Bolo taking damage, TP back in. And another Soul Assumption. Like I said, that spell is ridiculous. That spell is absolutely ridiculous. Sinking's gonna go ahead and pause for whatever reason. Um, and he'll resume just to be in pause, I suppose. TC is ensnared up right now. He cannot leap. Arrow's gonna miss on fear somehow. And that's three dead. Already, this aggressive try lane paying dividends. Universe getting a kill. Infinity grabbing two, a double kill. He's up to 500 gold plus the first blood. Uh, he bought something, I'm sure, on the courier. No, I mean, he maybe just bought the flying courier. I'm not 100% sure. MSS has the orb of venom on, uh, of course, the spirit bear up against Arteezy. But this is tough. I think if you're on the dire here, you're probably thinking, well, what do we do now? This is a situation where we're losing in terms of three kills. We're not getting a ton of farm on our carry. Uh, Universe is 15 to 7. Warden's here. Bane has to run back. Bulba's Soul's still only at level 1 right now. Warden is at level 2. But if we look at the levels, of course, on the rating side, everybody's 3. So this is a rough, rough matchup up top. MSS and the Lone Druid are getting some decent farm. He's sitting at 12 right now. He's actually only one behind Arteezy. So everything is relatively even here. And uh, MSS pushing out the lane. He's going to grab the Illusion Room potentially. Top lane Infinity is looking to go on Bobo. He'll back off. So yeah, I mean, I talked about how good Visage is. That hero is fucking ridiculous. You combine it up with two other really good heroes like a Weaver. And of course, a uh, oh, Arrow. No, not going to go. Oh, this is a problem. I'm not sure what Warden was doing there. He's going to throw up his Crystal Nova. That's not going to matter. That's another go. That's a kill going for Infinity. He's got a killing spirit at 436 into the game. And this is a problem. This game is, is not over yet, but it's certainly got the makings of a, a stop here. Unless they can somehow get back into this. But Marana doesn't do the best with farm in comparison to somebody like a Weaver or a Slark even. And they will have a Lone Druid with, I guess, okay farm up against an Outworld Devourer, but it's not like he's getting free farm. That lane with the aggressive trying is going very well. So I guess you gotta hand it to Mason for drafting the team that he did. At the same time, it's three really strong heroes, so it's not like he did the best job. He just got the heroes that were available to him. Arteezy's got Orb of Venom, and... Oh 
damage from Orb of M. He was almost level 6, he might actually go for an Astral. Now, Arrow, top lane, Universe, taking damage. There's going to be, of course, a nice Starfall, but the Soul Assumption again. Infinity might actually go down this time. Grave Chill's going to fly. He will, in fact, fall. Finally, Universe is trying to roam on through. Uh, Warden has no Sentry Wards here. Universe is going to Shikuchi away. And a one-for-one -one trade, they will finally get Infinity, but that's about five minutes too late there. So TC going down again. He's only sitting on 10 last hits. He's got two deaths. He's got not a whole lot of farm. You look at what Universe has at this point in time. He's got boots, he's got a Basilius and 800 gold in the bank on top of that. Plus, of course, his wand's almost done as well. MSS is 650 gold. Both of them are level 6 right now. Arteezy was looking for an Astral maybe into a Sanity's Eclipse. MSS is kind of squishy because of that, and he can't go to true form because he's got no mana either. There's a regen rune bottom. He's still full mana though. He has 13 mana. That's hilarious. That's ridiculous. Fear, smoked up, looking to go mid potentially on MSS. MS is backing off, and there's another roam through as well with Infinity. They know that they're missing. Universe is top alone. Fear's gonna roam around anyways, looking for that in Snare. Now the Astral Imprisonment coming. This is underneath the tower, by the way. MSS gonna get long range in Snare here. Sandy's Eclipse might go. There's the Grave Kill. There's the Sandy's Eclipse. Soul Assumption. And that true form is not going to dodge the majority of that damage. So Infinity's gonna grab another kill. He has five kills. He's got five of the six kills in this game already. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The, of course, other one was went, uh, went to Universe there. He's got a Ring of Health, by the way, on top of that. Bulba is going to be roaming on mid on top of that. He's got level 3, but he's going to just try to get some levels while MSS is missing. And he'll be able to walk back. He'll sell a GG branch, and that'll put him up. Two GG branches, that'll put him up to a GTP there. Snaking's gonna get Grave Shield. Soul Assumption not available, and there's only one charge there. Snaking looking to maybe go, but he doesn't have that last one. Infinity taking a lot of damage here. Mason can pounce onto Snaking. Soul Assumption's gonna fly. A lot of right click damage as well. There's the pounce just missing. Mason might die because of this. Another Soul Assumption. Can Snaking turn two? The Flame Break pushing him back. Double kill for Snaking. The easiest double kill of his life. They dove too far, too bravely. And that provides them some nice experience. A blink dagger at 7 minutes of the game for sneaking, which is really exactly what they needed to jump back into this game, but the king is back. Now top lane, TC's starting to get some more momentum here. Getting 19 last hits, universe is still level 5, so TC's at 4. Bulba looking for a nightmare. Oh gosh, why? Bulba, arrow, hitting on infinity right now. Warden, gonna throw up the crystal nova, as well as the, of course, frostbite. He needs to back off. And there's the Soul Assumption, easy kill, he's just so squishy. TC's gonna leap away as well on top of that. Now, Bulba trying to get out, he's got no mana, and Snare's gonna fly, he'll use his wand. There's the Riptide, Brave Chill, damage from Universe coming through, and the Soul Assumption, double kill again, going for Infinity. TP's coming in now, TC looking to do damage to Universe. Is there gonna be a lasso, does he need it? No, triple kill for an Infinity. Now, Snaking, eight seconds to lasso, Infinity taking damage here. War's gonna be on the ground, nicely placed from Infinity, there's the Grave Chill, he doesn't even need to use, of course, that lasso. Fear might take it to the face, nice Grave Chill, but the blink, double kill for Snaking again. Now Warden's back. Mason, Dark Pack, he's gonna Shadow Dance as well. Sentry Ward's on the ground, Flame Break, triple kill for Snaking. Fear, he's got no mana for a lasso. He doesn't have a wand. Now Bulba's coming through, might use that Brain Sap, might use the Nightmare Knife. Oh, the arrow from TC! Fear's dead, Bulba grabbing the kill with the Brain Sap. And Arteezy's nowhere to be found. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Someone was saying in a game last night how Arteezy wins his lane, but he doesn't gank. Like 50, he doesn't leave the lane until 15 minutes in. I can see that. Arcane Orb going MSS. He needs to back off. Sandy's Eclipse available right now, and he might just use it there. Yep, that's a kill for Arteezy. Pretty easy as well. Uh, he'll survive from this tower. Yeah, he'll be fine. He should maybe back off, however. Um, he's got his bottle coming, actually, so he'll, of course, just switch to Agility Treads and bottle up and then uh, think about sending that back. That's okay, I don't I don't need items. That's fine. I've, I've got two tickets. I appreciate the concern. Drop out. You've given us a lot already. You don't need to give us any more. Warden's gonna get Astral in prison. Throwing a Cinch Ward on the ground as well. I'm not sure Dying why. Crystal Nova's gonna go. Attack. Top lane. Universe. Nice time lapse. Not enough damage there, even with, of course, with that lasso. Now, Infinity's taking a lot of damage there. They're gonna take Bane down. Infinity should go down. No, the familiar stun. One's gonna go. Infinity, Soul Assumption on TC. Snaking's gonna grab another kill. Nicely, but not, of course, in the area that he wants. He wanted to get over these trees. That's gonna mean that Fury's gonna grab a kill. Flame Break back from Snaking, and he blinks away. Well done. 
But now the Radiant going again with some nice kills. Finally, Arteezy is rotated up top to clean this up, maybe try to push top as well. MSS is sitting on 600 gold boots for both him and the bear. No Midas coming just yet, but he can change that uh, if he wants, even though it's 10 minutes into the game. Courier throwing a GG branch on the ground or Arteezy, I'm not sure. He's going to bottle back up, and MSS is backing off, realizing that he's probably coming through. Top tower. Universe pushing top. That's going to be a tower gone for them. And so Radiant should have a decent advantage here. They've got a 1,000 gold lead. Uh, or excuse me, experience. 3,000 gold lead is what I meant to say. Treads are done for the Weaver. And so everything is looking pretty good for the Radiant. I mean, there's not a whole lot that Dyer can do right now. I mean, they're trading effectively when they can, but they need to get some levels on their supports. And even on uh, that Marana, who doesn't have a whole lot of farm. Universe is doing so much more with it. Rotation through the jungle. It is a smoke gank. Fear and Infinity are making their way through. Fear has enough mana for an Ensnare and, uh, well, not enough for an Ensnare and a Riptide. Now, Astral Imprisonment going through on RTZ. Song of the Siren from Fear. That's what he wanted to do. Now a TP coming in from the Dire. They're all here right now. They can't fight this. They realize they have to all back off. Illusion. But that is everybody except for, of course, in the top lane TC coming mid. He's going to be getting phase boots pretty soon, but Weaver already has his treads. He's also got a Ring of Health and a Basilius on top of that. And in the bottom lane, Mason continuing to farm away. He's sitting on close to treads. He can get them now if he wants to. He's got enough for the gloves and haste. Up the top lane, there's Universe here again. Sitting. TC. Oh, what's up, buddy? Smoke from Bulba. Snaking looking to maybe blink initiate. Lasso as well. Shikuchi going for Universe just barely. I think that was an arrow that just flew, flew through. Mason can throw up the dark back once again, push this out, but he's got to back off, he can pounce away, and he will. Uh, that's not really going to help him against snaking if he really wanted to blink glass when he could have. Bulba is still smoked, finally wears off, he's got another one available if he needs to use it. Arteez is roaming through as well, there's three mid for both teams, looking to potentially fight. Deny Dyer's coming out from snaking, well done there. They are getting pushed in, but that's a good deny. They need to keep that tower alive, or deny it, and they did just that. TC with his phase boots, Universe is here with the Shikuchi, he's got time lapse again, so he's not really in any trouble. In fact, Fear is here to help him out with, of course, a nice little ensnare if necessary. Now mid lane, there's a bit of action here, Flame Break onto RTZ, that's going to push him back right now. Lasso up, he'll probably bring him to the high ground there. Now there's going to be, of course, the Moonlight Shadow, Brain Tap as well. Snaking's going to grab the kill with the Firefly. RTZ goes down. Immediate Smoke of Deceit, looks like they want to roam through the jungle and grab Universe. He's got Shikuchi, he's going to maybe just head out of there and time lapse on top of that, but now... They're going on Infinity. Infinity's entangled up right now. Flame Break's gonna fly. Bane gonna grab that kill with the right click. Maybe even the Brain Sap as well. Look at it go. We need more Witch Doctor games. What a hero that is. God damn. Mason's been sitting down here for a good five minutes. been getting some decent farm. I think he's going to be going drum unless they already have it on their side, and it doesn't look like they do, so Mason's going to grab the drum. Uh, they have a four step on Arteezy, so that's a really good first item for your OD. Medallion's on Infinity, so they've got the armor reduction on top of that. Fury already has his Arcanes as well, so there's a whole lot of items for the Radiant. Dire don't have much, and they'll try to get there, and if there's anybody that can farm that back up, it's probably TC, and they'll be sitting on a Wraith Band, but it's going to be maybe a little late here. I'm not sure. MSS can throw this bear up and try to fend off any attack here. He's got phase boots on the bear, so that's a decent amount of damage as well. Fear's going to back off as well as Arteez. They realize they might be in trouble, but Snaking's here for the wraparound gank, looking for somebody. Lasso on Infinity. He blinks away, but the ensnare going. That didn't work out in his favor, unfortunately. He realizes it's in trouble right now. Snaking trying to head out. There's going to be the soul subject. Nice wand charge. Can he live is the question. Flame break going. He'll be able to get up to the high ground. They'll be able to get away. Bulba grabs a timely haste rune. Shikuchi for Universe, they want to dive this potentially. Swarm's going to hit on Warden, he's going to get dove. Yep, Universe looking for that kill, but TC's here. Astro Imprisonment, big dive coming through. Warden is going to fall right now. Bane looking for something, he's got Fiends. Now, Mason's here as well. Now there's going to be the Ensnare up. Mason getting stunned, however, in the meantime. Bulba looking to go down. Arcane Orb hitting right now. Sandy's Eclipse doing some damage as well. Song of the Siren, I think it stopped that Sandy's Eclipse damage on TC. Now TP's in. MSS is here. TP's away. Are they all going to get out is the question. Look at the rest of the Radiant. They're backing Dyer's off, so they'll grab a kill on Warden. Everyone else lives, despite some questionable decision-making from Snake King. Also, that lasso breaking. 
Dyer's top he needs level 2 lasso. Under. He's level 11, he doesn't have level 2 lasso. What happened? He skilled something else accidentally. And he'll be level 12 soon, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe not accidentally, maybe incidentally is a better word. Alright, what do we got in terms of the graphs? 1,000 experience lead still for the Radiant, but that's not much considering what they had. 4,000 gold lead could be a lot worse. Still pretty good at 15 minutes in the game. TC is not setting on a whole lot of farm, which we continuously talked about. Well, chat, I need a straw poll. Who's going to win this game, Radiant or the Dire? I think most of you will probably vote for the Radiant. I'm probably, I would probably put my wares on the Radiant. I'd put my rares in the gradient. Ryder is not an acceptable excuse. Dyer's or I guess, uh, vote. Attack. Arrow flying, hitting Arteezy in the Dyer's face. Do so they want to fight this? Fortifications flying. Blink, lasso, Arteezy in trouble. No sanity's eclipse. Nice and snare. Damage flying right now. They need something more. Fear's still low. Snaking will fall first. Now Infinity's next. No, Infinity's gonna grab that kill. Bane gets the kill on Fear. Infinity trying to get out. TC looking for the kill. He's got Arrow. He's gonna use it. Grave Chill's gonna fly. One hit's gonna go. Universe gonna grab the regen. Now where's the rest of this fight happening? Fiend's grip on Mason. Mason in trouble. He's got a little kill for Bulba. And now Universe is like, all right, well, I'm done here. Uh, the oh so common ah well in NA no, Dota. It's like my go-to catchphrase from losing a game. Ah well. Meanwhile, MSS was not a part of that fight. He was pushing top. He's got 1,600 gold in the bank. We'll see if he wants to go for ratings. It'd be very late if he did. Not that that's a big deal. Arteezy is... Sitting at not the most health in the world, he'll saddle up actually, which means that he's okay. Fear's back mid. He wants this tower drastically. Starstorm's gonna fly. Ooh, nice deny, TC. I didn't think he was get that. Fear, push down to the low ground here in the river. Are they gonna continue to chase? Swarm's gonna fly. Well, there's that. What? Ramana hair's amazing. I like that. Well, I I mean, that little, like, it looks like she's wearing a wig, kind of, actually. They need to make it look a little bit better. Other than that, I like the set. Yeah, you're right. The hair is, like, the hair is going to be All right, fine. I've seen the air of my ways. Snaking. The snaking cam. Blink, Lasso, Arteezy. Is there enough damage here is the question. They don't have fiends, I don't think. Yeah, not for another 10 seconds. Nice Nightmare Harbor. Song of the Siren. Counter initiation from Fear, potentially. Infinity's gonna come through as well. TP from Universe. They wanna go on this. Bulba might be the first to fall here. He's got fiends right now, just in time, but he is gonna fall down first. That's a nice counter initiation. Arteezy's back up to full health, pretty much. The bear's gonna try to get a first hit and tangle. Not gonna happen. MSS trying to get out of there. Double kill for Infinity as he picks up Warden. That bear's getting grave chilled right now. MSS trying to juke through the trees here. Not going to happen. It's there already being used. There's the astral in prison. They want to take the spare down. That's a free 300 gold. And now they're going to take down MSS as well. That's just too much burst damage coming through. And immediately three heroes fall for the dire. And what looked to be an okay gank, but it turned out to be an awful, awful gank. TC will get some room to farm, however. He's going to be going for a maelstrom. Uh, that is your standard, I guess, moronic carry build. Fear's going to go ahead and throw up his images, but this is a free tier 2 tower, and they don't even need to really use those images on the tower. Mid lane, we'll see Snaking backing off as he realizes they're going to be coming mid sometime soon. Uh, he's trying to get that 4 staff, which he's a couple hundred gold away from. Buy some TPs first, smartly. So it's tough now. I mean, after that fight, I'm sure they're down a couple of thousand in gold. They're still down almost 5,000 here, so it jumped up a little bit, and 2,000 experience lead on top of that. So the Dire have... A tough game ahead of them if they want to get back into this. It's not insurmountable by any means, but with what they've got to work with, which is not that farmed of a MSS on the Lone Druid and not that farmed of a TC on a Marana, it's, uh... Well, it's going to be hard. Dota's a hard game. From what I told. I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I don't know. Dota, Dota's not hard. No way. No way is Dota hard. That's a lie. Play harder single player games. Zelda's a harder Radiant's game. Come on, guys. Tower is under attack. Looking at the. Do they have a mech? No, they don't. But they are building it. Infinity's got that buckler. No one else has any other components for a mech on. in the game. So that's Visage completing his mech, attack. speaking of which, right now. 
Um, and now they're going to be able to fight, get a lot of kills, survive a lot longer. When you get that mech first up, I mean, if you're pretty, you know, low in level, if you're pretty early into the game, it does so much for you. And I don't know if they have vision here or not. They've got this one ward right here. It looks like they will see this. Snaking looking for a lasso on Arteezy. Now there's going to be the Moonlight Shadow. Snaking was thinking about going the high ground. That lasso doesn't do anything, though. You can see he needs a force staff to bring him back. Fear is like, well, that's... I don't know what just happened there. But yeah, I mean, they, they need a little bit more damage coming through. They need, like, either level 3 lasso. They need to get some seeking napalm charges going through. And they need something else other than just the lasso. They need the force staff back into the Roche Pit. And like, or like to the high ground or something. Just get him a kill, some way. Arteezy is actually sitting on 7,000 in net worth with, of course, the Mystic Staff flying out to him right now, and the Force Staff on top of that. So he's going to be going for side device. He doesn't need to go for the mech, which Infinity already has. And only level one this is familiars, but he should be okay in terms of levels. I mean, he's higher than the other two supports on the Dire team. And now they're going to go ahead and push this tier two tower at 21 minutes into the game. The arrow's going to fly. That's going to hit a creep, stepping in front to take a bullet off of Infinity. Flame Break doing some damage. TC trying to do something. Uh, that's not what he needed to do. The Astral Prism is going to go. Now the Deny potentially. Oh, TC getting caught out of position. Hardcore. That's a kill for Arteezy. Blink back from, of course, snaking. Four step forward on a Warden. Warden takes one hit and dies, essentially, because he's a Crystal Maiden. So that's two heroes dead. Uh, potentially no buybacks. TC does actually have one, so. They'll grab a tier one tower top, however. I, I don't know if they can really defend this push. There's a Basher up on Lone Druid now, which is good, but they're going to need more than that. This tier 3 tower taking a lot of damage. Here comes the bear. Mason needs to back off. He's kind of low. Mech's probably up in a couple of seconds, actually. They might just wait one second for Mech to go. They're actually going to TP to the tier 2 top, get some farm, push that out. And I think they probably could have taken that engagement mid. I honestly think that they had a good fight going. If the Radiant wanted to engage, they probably could have won the fight. But they're not going to do that. They're not all about that life. What the hell is this thing? Owl Lion. What? What the hell is that? So anyways... With that being said, Dyer are going to roam down bottom with all five and look for a potential pickoff here. Uh, Mason has a Shadow Dance. I'm sure they'll have a Sinture Ward thrown up. He'll actually just leap away. And they realize this is happening. Fear's going to throw up the Ensnare. Nice Jew coming out from Snake King. The disjoint of that Snare. Fear is actually going to die because of it. Nice Blink coming out just to make sure he gets that lasso, gets the kill. That's a Lincoln Sphere coming up for the Weaver, I believe, is what it just said. Yes, and Shiva's Guard's done for Arteezy. So instead of going for that set of ice, he's going for the Shiva's Guard. Just as good of an item. And Mason is getting absolutely wrecked down bottom. So that's two free kills going to them. A tier 2 tower on top of that. Potentially pushing into a tier 3. Uh, the Creep Wave isn't at the tier 3 yet. If you look in comparison, I mean, they could push this tier 3 before the rating gets there. So, the problem is they don't have MSS. His bear, he's got a basher. They're actually TPing mid right now. Uh, that is Arteezy here. I'm not sure if that's the best place for him to be, considering he doesn't have a whole lot of help. They're going to actually wrap around on the backside. They know he's sitting in this alcove, or at least they should know. They're going to go for this tier 1 tower. Snaking, looking for potentially anything. Nice four step forward. Arteezy trying to get out of there. Astro Imprisonment. Shiva's guard snaking, taking a bit of damage. Oh, the arrow on Universe inadvertently. Now, of course, the of course, Sandy's Eclipse. Arteezy's gonna use it to grab the kill on snaking and the Astral Prisman as well. That's gonna save his life for the time being. Can they get this kill, however, is the question. Arteezy is gonna go down Ward and he's gonna go down in Universe casually walking through with the Shikuchi. And uh, Grave Chill's flying. Now, Moonlight Shadow. TC is in some trouble. He's got Leap in one second. Universe going on that bear. Bear is ensnared. Bear is dead. MSS has got us resummon if he wants to, but everyone's backing off on the dire. And that'll do, Bear, and that'll do. Bulba is going to head back up to the high ground here with the rest of his team. And everyone except for Arteezy on the Radiant is alive. They'll maybe think about going down mid and getting a kill on the tower, on a tier 3 tower. They can go to the Roche Pit, or they can do whatever they want, but they've got a lot of options going for them. Uh, I don't think that's for trade. I'd say three rares. And why John is not going to be casting tonight, unfortunately. He is doing something else, I believe. 
So he will not be here. He just got me, unfortunately. Yep. Smoke gank now coming out from the dire, and they're looking for somebody. Fear. Yeah, well, he knows. His uh, illusion saw. Four step forward from staking. Blink as well. Firefly. Fear. Defensive song. That's a level 11 song. Oh, they want to fight this. Arrow. Snaking's dead. Snaking is dead, and now the Dyer have to retreat, and that's a potential Roche. Mistakes were made indeed. Freezing Field's gonna go. Warden doing some nice damage to Infinity. Nice mech, however, that'll keep him alive. Grave Chill. Warden might go down. No, Infinity wants to man on TC. Nice stun on the familiar there. And Infinity's gonna go down. I'm not sure what's happening. Mason grabbing a kill on MSS. That's where they were fighting. I'm just like, well, where's the backup for Infinity? What the, tell, what the hell is my team doing is exactly right. He'll TP back into the fight as he buys back. Now they're looking for snaking. Now, of course, oh, Pound's just missing. Now, Lincoln Spear going and helping Universe survive. Everyone is low. TC, Warden included, leap up onto the high ground. They'll grab the kill on Mason. In the meantime, Astral Imprisonment, Universe going to grab the kill on Batrider from the low ground. TC, one more Arcane Orb. There it goes. And there's two down. Three down now in the Dire. And Bulba's going to casually walk back into base. But this looks like either a Roche or a Tier 3 or something along those lines. Yeah, it's going to be a tier 3 here. Potentially a set of Raxes Dyer's as well. Uh, early fort. I don't know about that one. There goes the tower. Universe Dyer's grabs it. And now the Raxes are pretty much dead. There's no buyback. Snaking already used his. Astral Imprisonment? Who is that on? Bulba? Okay. Well, he's going to go ahead and sleep himself. No, nope, he's dead. That is dead, Bane. And uh, this is a set of racks, if not GG. So the Radiant, despite having a couple of scares in the mid-game, the early game, nice. They've got a pretty potent lead, and on top of that, they've pretty much got the win. Which goes without saying. So Snaking's going to go ahead and call GG at this point. We'll see if the game actually ends, or if that's a Mason GG call. I don't think they're ready to give up just yet. If he gets killed, I'd say, yeah, he's, this is probably over. Snaking knows what's happening here. He can blink four staff out if necessary. Storm's going to fly through, just missing Snaking. Universe looking for a potential kill. Blink. Oh, boy. Four staff. Uh, uh, he's alone. There's the pounce. Snaking's done. That's him going down. He's down for 53 seconds. Roshan's next, potentially. Weaver has a Desolator. Good item. What? That's it? More, more Kappa spam. Kappa. Keep going. Go. Radiant's top tower is under attack. So really well played game for the Radiant. I think everyone did a pretty great job. Infinity with those early kills, which were set up a lot by, of course, not only Universe, but as well as Fear with the ensnares. Being aggressive, just saying, let's go, we can take this fight. Pretty easy. Realizing that they didn't have a whole lot early on. Um, and they just had more damage. I mean, if you've got a Soul Assumption in any lane, try versus try, there's a good chance you're going to win, assuming you have the right lockdown and the right set of damage on top of that. Plus the armor reduction coming out from Riptide. Super useful, so when they hit two... They could be super effective and get tons of kills. Sanj is up for the Slark. We'll see if he wants to go for an SMI. He's also got that Ogre Club, so I'm not really sure what he's going for next. Um, but right now, it's pretty much GG. Dyer's bottom tower is under What's going on? I don't know what he did. Uh, must be in Skype Dyer's or something. bottom tower has fallen. Arrow, that poor creep. Died for our sins. Four staff, Arteezy, TC, and the Astral Visage Familiar Sun coming in right now. Just not the right timing. A little too early there, as you can see. Arteezy is in frostbitten right now, taking a lot of damage. He's got the Aegis, so I don't think he's really concerned about that. TC taking a nice little from the back of the head. And now Arteezy's back alive, looking for Snaking, looking for something. There's the Sandy's clip, Song of the Siren as well. They want to get in position to fight this. Warden and TC's in trouble. TC has no... Oh, he does have a leap. Excuse me. They'll leap away. Warden's going to die immediately to a dark pack. Weaver going to town. Grabbing a kill with a nice desolator there. TC's getting chased as well. What else is going on over here? Naga Siren grabbing the kill on the Bane. Bane will buy back. MSS getting Familiar Sun twice. As well as Bulba getting hit up by one. GG is called. Arrow's going through. Another GG is called. And now Bulba's soul assumption. Not dead yet. 
Nice kill there. Now he's going to go down to Universe, getting a dominating streak there. TC is next. Double kill for Universe. And now another kill going to RTZ. And it is GG this time around. And that's going to be it for the first game of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around and chat. I have a ticket to give away. Um, thank you for joining us in the NEL. All of the NEL action can be checked out at neodota.com slash NEL, youtube.com slash neodota.com My name is Mon. If you enjoyed the cast, you can follow me at twitter.com slash Mon32. Yes, excellent. We'll be in the next game in a couple of moments, but first and foremost, we'll do our little giveaway in a couple of moments. So stick around, everybody.